The good news is Mayans MC finally delivered. They gave us a great episode in Season 5, Episode 5. But the bad news is, is it possibly too little, too late, as we are at the halfway mark of the final ride. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment. And I want to talk a little bit more about the episode that we just watched. Season 5, Episode 5. We're now officially halfway through the final raid, and not a lot has happened in the first half of this season. But the good news is, a lot did happen in the last episode, Season 5, Episode 5. And I think you could argue that more happened in this one episode than what happened in the previous four episodes behind it. There was big reveals, such as Easy being the rat and Angel being the one that burned down the drugs. Now, people can say that we knew Easy was the rat and a lot of people knew or, or at least thought that Angel was the one that burned down the warehouse. However, it doesn't really matter what we know. What matters is that nobody else in the show knew. And after this episode, they did know. So we have Miguel revealing that he knows about Angel. We then had Angel revealing to Sophia that he burnt it down. And then with Easy, people say we knew it was Easy, but... So Easy didn't know that anybody knew, Creeper didn't know, and then he found out this episode, and now we know the whole dynamic has changed in the club because Creeper is now aware that Easy is a rat. So that's one reason why this was a good episode. Lots of big reveals. But the second reason it was good is the story moved forward for a change. I felt like we actually advanced the story with the war, with the drugs, with the rat. Look at the war with the sons and the mines. Up until this episode, the war didn't even feel real because let's be honest, it was just made up factions, made up charters that were being killed off. Yeah, the sons wiped out Inland Empire and the other one that they, <laughs> I can't even remember the name. But the point is, both of these charters were literally just invented so that the sons could wipe them out. These these charters weren't built. These charters, they didn't focus on these charters. They didn't make us care about these charters. So who honestly cares about the sons of anarchy wiping out a couple of Mayans charters that had no relevance in the show? And then we had the Mayans. Yeah, they wiped out some no-names on the bridge. But other than that, they, we had no confrontation. We had no actual either physical confrontation or sit down confrontation we'd nothing between the main charters that being san bernardino and santo padre at least we got that in this episode we finally had a meet easy and um easy and isaac face to face and we actually got a pretty brutal fight and that was good i enjoyed that and hopefully going forward we get a lot more of that I feel like with the drugs and the war, uh, the drugs, I feel like that moved on. The fact that now Miguel knows about Angel. We finally found out who burnt down the warehouse. And now Miguel is basically calling the shots. He's saying, look, e Angel, you better get easy to stop doing what he's doing. You need to get him back on board with us because this whole fentanyl thing is not good. You need to be selling drugs with the cartel. You can't be doing it on your own. So I feel like that definitely advanced as well and then of course the rat advanced now creeper knows who the rat is easy is aware that creeper knows and now we're going to see what dynamic plays out we had easy attack creeper he got him into solidary confinement and we have to ask the big questions why did he do that did he do that to stop creeper from being able to get in contact with the club or did he possibly do that to try and maybe set up creeper for a kill i'm sure we'll find that out as we go on another thing i liked about this episode was obviously the return of the grim bastards now we didn't get any members we didn't get teal that we recognised from Sons of Anarchy, but it's still the same club, it's still the Grim Bastards, and I did enjoy the new president, I believe his name was Lucky, I felt like he was, he was only on screen for a small amount of time, but I did enjoy him, and it was just a cool nostalgia act to actually see the Grim Bastards, you know, the black guys, they arrive, and normally we, have, we don't see much black guys on bikes, you know, we, we see white guys, we see Mexicans, but you don't see many black guys, it was just cool, it was a nostalgia thing to see them 
right up and they're wearing you know their colors they're like their orange colors and it's, it's just the colors that you associate with the grim bastard so i enjoyed seeing them in this episode another thing i thought this episode did well was that it stopped wasting time i felt like there wasn't that much stuff there wasn't that much content there wasn't that much time focused on characters that we do not care about for example Adelita, I don't even remember her being in this episode. Emily, I think, had one scene. The Broken Saints, thank God, weren't there. They were back in the kitchen where they belong. We barely got anything to do with Letty and Emily. There was not a lot of the bad stuff. We'd know Felipe. Basically, all the stuff that we don't like, we didn't get in this episode. So that's good. That is good. They stopped wasting time and they focused the majority of the episode on stuff that we actually want to see. Like Mayans, like Sons, like the war between them both, like the drugs, like revealing who the rat is. Things that actually matter. So I did enjoy that. But my problem is, guys, we're already at the halfway point. And on this channel, me and my brother have this theory that perhaps half the show was already filmed by the time they found out this would be the final season. And I think that would make sense. I think that would explain why the first four episodes were dragged out. Because they were anticipating this show going six seasons and they didn't want to burn through all their content in season five and go into season six with not a lot left. I think that's why they were going very slow. I think that's why the story wasn't really advancing and maybe they shot those episodes early and then at some point they found out that in fact this series is not going six seasons. In fact it's ending in season five and then all of a sudden they're like right okay we need to pick up the pace. We need to start cramming things in in order to finish the story and that to me makes sense because if you look at the pacing of the first four episodes compared to the pacing of episode five it feels like a different show in episode five let, let's talk so let's talk about the rat first of all creeper finds out the easy is the rat and he confronts them in the same episode. So it's like you're getting like two birds with one stone. First of all, Creeper finds out. And then Creeper confronts Easy in the same episode. Then if you look at the the burning down of the warehouse. When you, first of all, Miguel finds out. Or he doesn't find out. But he, he lets Angel know that he's aware he burnt down the warehouse. And then we get Angel spilling to Sophia. That he burnt down the warehouse. And then we get Potter in the same episode telling Miguel that he knows Angel burnt it down. And why didn't he say anything? So, I mean, you think about it, that is insane. Look at the first four episodes. Look how slow things were going with Cody trying to find out who the rat was. And them, like the sons, the war with the Mayans and trying to figure out who burnt down the warehouse. Look how slow things went in the first four episodes. Then move into episode five. And not only... Do we find out who the rat is? Not only do we find out who burnt down the warehouse, but we get all the additional reveals. Like I said, with Angel telling Sophia and Potter basically telling Miguel that I know Angel's the one that burnt it down. And I just feel like, based on what happened in the first four episodes, that's not how it would have played out. If Creeper found out the the easy was the rat. He wouldn't confront him till like an episode later or two episodes later, based on the pacing of the first four. But in episode five, they just speed through it, which makes me think that they did indeed film the first four episodes, thinking that they had six seasons, and then they found out that they did not have six seasons. They got cancelled, and they had to speed it up. Now, I really enjoyed episode five. I thought episode five was great, but my problem is. We've got only half the season left. You have half the season left and I feel like we should be further ahead at this point. Now, if the final episodes continue to go at the same pacing and the same speed as episode 5, then I think we could be in for a really, really strong season. And I think the second half of season 5 could arguably be the best second, or not second half, but the best half season of the Mayans ever. In all seasons, I think we could be looking at the best five episodes ever if the last five keep up the sort of pace and the sort of quality the episode five had. However, if it doesn't, if we start going back to what we got in the opening four episodes, then I don't see this show 
ending in a positive way because we've so much to tell we've so much to find out and we need the story to keep going we need the story to keep advancing like a runaway train we need to be getting shitloads of refills we need to be getting shitloads of action shitloads of fights shitloads of good stuff with the mines with the suns with the drug war and with the refills with the rats and with all of that stuff we don't need to add these new charters we don't need to add this broken saint or this inland empire war we don't need any of that we just need the sons and the mayans and that is it and i felt like that's what episode five focused on so hopefully we get more of the same guys going forward can this season be saved i think so but it's definitely a disadvantage because the first four episodes let it down i'm just glad though the episode five gave us some hope and hopefully no pun intended i think hope will die but yeah hopefully season five can get better and better and finish on a high that's my opinion let me know your opinion guys down below in the comments i did really enjoy episode five when this series is done we will rank every single episode i think it could potentially maybe make the top 10 episodes of all time in minds I, I thought it was pretty damn good it wasn't great it wasn't fantastic there was flaws it wasn't perfect by any means but when you compare it to the first four episodes it felt perfect because it was so much better anyway guys that's it fog entertainment catch you in the next one till then make sure you leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you later peace